What's up guys? B Rice here. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about why are we still playing Call of Duty? Call of Duty's been out for 19 years now. 19, man. That's a, it's quite a long time for a franchise and um man, I can remember the very first Call of Duty I played, Call of Duty 4. At that time, guys, I was playing uh playing on PC, playing Warcraft, StarCraft and Dota. And my buddy said, yo, hey, dude, check this out, man. This game's fucking beast. It's awesome. You got to get it, dude. You got to get it. And, you know, I did. I ended up trying it out at my friend's house. I, it was fun. And, man, there we go. There was the start of my addiction to Call of Duty uh, 19 years ago. And, yeah, I've been playing it all the way and still playing it. And the progression throughout the game... Um, you know, the graphics have changed, the graphics have gotten better, the engine has changed, the engine's gotten a lot better. But um, but the perks and the implementation um, that they've been putting in the game has just gotten worse. Um, the games they made back in the day, uh, I know a lot of guys love um, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2. I enjoyed um, Modern War, I enjoyed Call of Duty 4, um, Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3, those were kind of my favorites. I did I did play, of course, all the Call of Duties, Call of Duty 1, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, um, and Black Ops 1 and 2 were awesome. I did enjoy those a lot, and um, those were pretty beast. But uh, I wanted to talk about, like, um, the AI that's coming in in Call of Duty 2022 MW2, which is going to be in every single mode. You're going to have artificial intelligence in all the lobbies, in all the modes, and honestly, guys, that scares the hell out of me because Battlefield 2042 tried to do this, and it it just it didn't work. It didn't work at all. And not to mention, Battlefield 2042 uh, was designed like shit, and the game's horrible. So don't play that or buy it right now. Not right now. I wouldn't. I wouldn't waste any money buying that game. They if they can't come out strong right at the beginning and have a good game. Why? Why even like? give them your money and and wait for them to make it finish the game off that's just stupid but um so 2022 man like ai what do you guys think comment down below i think that uh i think it scares me because it's, it's either going to be great or it's going to be straight up trash i mean that's all there is to it there's going to be no lukewarm middle for this the situation i think that if you hop in a game and you're going to have two or three players on your side that are real players and you're playing against like two or three other real players and then the rest of the lobby's filled with um, AI, I mean, are you going to really have a good time doing that? Playing with the artificial intelligence, not real pe players? Uh, I think it could it could be devastating to the game. Um, comment below what you guys think. I think that it's, it's going to be scary. It's going to be tough. It's either going to be trash, and if it isn't, if the game does come out be trash, uh, we're going to be stuck here. We're going to be playing Warzone. And Warzone 2.0 will be coming out probably four or five months later after um, Modern Warfare 2 comes out. So we'll still have that even if this game's horrible. Um, yeah, so that's what's going to be going on. And, man, I just really, I really hope Activision, they, I really hope they got their, their shit together, but... Things have changed. The, um, they got new developers, a younger generation in there. Um, you know, the graphics are great and everything, but if you don't have good maps, if you don't have nostalgia, if you don't, um, if you don't listen to your community, then you're not gonna, you're not gonna get anywhere. And, and for a while now, they just Activision does not listen to their community. Instead, they get all sensitive about somebody throwing down some, uh, you know, some opinions and some ideas. They just straight up get, uh, you know, just get all upset about it like little babies and cry about it. Uh, blame, blame Truth, you know, was tweeting out some stuff about, you know, Call of Duty and everything and all the game implementations they've been putting in. And and, they're, and they block him on Twitter. They, let's see, Sledgehammer's blocked him, Infinity Wars blocked him, and Treyarch has blocked him for him being, giving them a little bit of criticism because they need it. They need criticism. They need to, like, understand what they're doing, like, sometimes isn't always right. Um, it's just not like, so when you have your player base telling you, Hey, you're fucking up, you know, you, maybe you should listen because people are going to quit your game. If, if this next game with artificial intelligence and it ends up just being straight up shit because they're trying to, you know, make the game for noob noobs, 
you know, you're just going to, you're going to lose more player base because some of us like myself, the only reason I'm playing is because I, I still en I enjoy Warzone right now. I, I did not purchase Vanguard. I can't play Vanguard. It, there's, it was just a horrible, horrible game. Black Ops Cold War was an okay game, but it was not up to par compared to Black Ops 3. And then there was MW 2019, which was a camp fest, door fest. Um, just, it just was not designed good enough. And so we've had three games that have been shit for the past three years. And then Warzone came out. Warzone saved this community. It saved, saved the franchise for right now. So... I don't know about MW 2022 um, right now, but guys, don't purchase the game. I've pre-ordered it. I'm going to waste my money for you guys. So subscri subscribe, comment, and like, and um, we'll just we'll be keep on playing this Warzone, two Warzone getting prepared for um, MW 2019. But a um, little concerned about the AI implemented in the game. Um, so yeah, comment down below and I'll check you guys out next time. Peace. Twenty five still remain in the AO. <laughs> Resurging. Go get your revenge. Squad member is redeploying. Enemy UAV active. Get to the new safe zone. Gas is closing Toss in. Toss it a frag! Station costs are adjusted. Reinforcements are on the way. Enemy UAV active. Over there. Enemy UAV active. Spotted. Assaulting target. They got me in their sight. Turned off. Gas is moving in. New safe zone highlighted. Hostile spotted. Tracking enemy.
Safe zone highlighted. Second rally point. Allied precision airstrike incoming. Be aware. enemy gas is closing in relocating the safe zone cancel that airstrike on my target losing ground Move. Wait a hand in. 